So I remove the head. And I think it's very interesting. Uh, here, you can see where the head gasket failed. But what's weird is, well, here it was about to fail or failed as well. This one was okay between those two, but th between this one and this one and this one and this one, those that gasket is terrible. But what I was saying was weird is, did the head gasket split in half? Because there's another half over here. There's a head gasket right here. Did they put two on and by accident? I don't know. I got a new head gasket right here. I'll take a look at it and see if it's like two pieces. But here, I don't know. I'll have to take a closer look at the valves. They seem okay. What I heard you could do is spritz uh, w, uh, brake clean in the back end and see if water or uh, the brake clean comes through the valves to see if they make leakies. But like I said, it's just this one part for the uh, camshafts that does not look healthy. And, of course, the uh, head gasket. And the cylinders, they're smooth as a baby's bottom. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything at all. I'm gonna get, I'll get a light here. Let me get a light. You can see, too, smooth as a baby's bottom. Nothing is felt with the touch. Nothing. Here's the next one. And I guess I have to rotate it to inspect all, all four of these babies. But it is smooth as a baby's bottom. You know, besides a little corrosion here and there, which can be cleaned up, it was used in the salt, but supposedly it got a new block and a new head done four months before it seized up. And why did it seize up? I don't know. You know, head gasket failure, obviously. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with the pistons. When I got it, I was able to turn the engine. And the head, I gotta make sure and see if it's flat. But I see where the head gaskets failed. And I don't know why uh, it's in two pieces. I'll uh, inspect it some more, and I will let y'all know. Very interesting. And here, looks like scratches there, but I don't feel nothing. These are the other two pistons. I did turn the engine. They look fine. Let me feel this one. But I really haven't felt anything inside these cylinders. Smooth as a baby's bottom. I don't know. It looks fine to me. The not an expert that I am. I don't know. The block seems fine. I think I need a new head maybe because of the uh uh, camshaft bearings on top. Uh, who knows? I don't even know if I need that, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm sure I'll get help from my crappie.com friends. But that's cool. Box seems fine. As far as I can tell. There's a brake clean test. The brake clean test on the top valves. Brake clean going through the valves. I don't see any. Is it a little wet there? But I think that was a little wet. Oh, 
Well, there's still brake plane sitting on it, so it should. Can't see it with my flashlight. And there's brake plane sitting on those valves. Nothing going through. Nothing going through. See? Sitting on the valves. And not going through. Maybe a little there, but I mean, if it can hold brake clean, because that is so volatile. I think those are fine. I guess I gotta flip it over to check the, uh, oh, here's the exhaust ones. Huh. I don't know what to do. Flip it over, I guess, and we'll check those. Cool, though. At least the intake valves are good, seem good to go to me, at least. Mr. Amateur.